Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I am super grateful that you are here. As per always, I hope everyone is having a beautiful day. If you're new, hello, my name is Julia and welcome very much. Welcome very much. Sure, that makes sense. I hope you enjoyed today's video and let's get on to the food. I didn't think it'd be this hard to go and try to let you down. So as you saw today, I started off with a big old bowl of watermelon, a matcha, and of course some dark chocolate because mm, it's just so good. But we're feeling some lunch now, so I piled up a whole bunch of greens. We got spinach, arugula, pea sprouts, and some ore oregano? Cilantro is what I meant. We then just piled on some plain black, black beans. I was, st I'm struggling saying that. Plain black beans, some tofu that I fried up in the frying pan with a little bit of smoked paprika and some chili powder. I then threw on some cucumber, some red onion, some sauerkraut because gut health, guys. It's very important, your gut health. This was such a simple yet delicious and nourishing freaking lunch and I literally could have ate like 10 bowls of it. Not actually because I would have blown up because I was too full, but you know what I mean. Taste, 10 out of 10. I then threw on some homemade Mexi style dressing, which I will link down in the description box below. I made an entire video of salad uh, blue blah, style dressing and you gotta try them. Mm. I then was feeling a chocolate protein shake because high key addicted to chocolate not going to lie. What can I say? It just makes me happy. So we just threw in a banana, some milk, some ice, and some delicious chocolate protein powder. Mm. Okay, I confess my love for chocolate all of the time. And this just satisfies my chocolate craving so hardcore, but I get my kick of protein in for the day and it has MCT oil in it. What? Mm. Definitely click my link down in the description box below and use my code AIRS20 for 20% off of all of TV products because guys, they're just so good. Like so high quality products with such good ingredients too. Like it's just winning. You're like, you're winning. You know what I mean? So. For dinner, we are feeling some rice paper wraps with crispy tofu. I love crispy tofu. Oh, it's just, it just freaking hits different, you know? If you know, you know. Anyways, so I just chopped up a whole block of tofu, added three tablespoons of soy sauce and one teaspoon of this stuff that's kind of like soy sauce. It's like soy seasoning stuff. Not too sure, but it's good. Then added a couple tablespoons of rice vinegar for that acidity to balance out that flavor, as well as one tablespoon of maple syrup. And this also helps crisp it up as well. The sugars in the maple syrup add that crispiness outside of the tofu, and it's just mm, so damn good. I'm sorry that I say so damn good so much. It's just hard to edit my own videos without getting hungry. I then added some chili flakes, some onion powder, some garlic powder, and some ginger powder as well. And then I just flip them all around to get them all coated in the same seasoning and let them sit for about 25 minutes. As we're waiting for the tofu to marinate, we cut up a whole bunch of veggies for our wraps. So we did some carrots, some red onions, some cilantro, and of course some mango with a bunch of other things as well. You'll see the whole plate in just a minute. But like seriously, if you guys don't put mango on your rice paper wraps, I don't know what you're doing, but you need to do it. You need to go out, buy a mango, and put it on your rice paper wraps because it just adds that sweetness and mm, it's just so Damn good, again, so sorry for saying that so much. Anyways, it is time to cook up our tofu. So we added some coconut oil to our hot pan along with our whole block of chopped, marinated, and delicious tofu, ready to be crispy. We just added a couple drops of water while it was cooking as well, just to help the process along. And the rest of the marinade sitting on the bottom of the pan, we threw the tofu into that pan again, 
and tossed it around to give an extra coating to the tofu. We then built up our wraps and I added my crispy tofu, my avocado, my red onion, some mango, some pea sprouts, some carrots, and some kimchi as well, because why not? Kimchi is great and it's so good for you. Gut health, guys, gut health. And then just sprinkled on some sesame seeds, wrapped it all on up, and I made about three of those the exact same, and then I just kind of went for it. Whatever was left on the tray, I was just using up, and I think I had about five of these rice paper rolls in total, but they are fat boys. Mmm, mmm. I don't know where this is on the camera because I can't see it, but I hope that you guys can see this right now. I need to take a picture. Perfect. That one is a little bit smaller. You be the judge. That one's definitely smaller. Let the people be the judge. That one's smaller. But I did a good job. Sure, yeah, you did a great job. No, that was mine! Yeah, there you go. Thanks. I need sauce. Yeah, me too. Ew, and now you're gonna put your slobbery. Better hurry. All right, I don't really care. Who do I call if it ain't you? Tell me who to call call if it ain't you. Today, we are feeling a big old tropical vibed smoothie bowl on this gloomy day. I don't know why I was feeling all tropical on a gloomy day, but hey, it is what it is. I added a bunch of frozen banana. I don't even know how many bananas were in there, but a bunch bunch of frozen mango, some coconut yogurt, and some vanilla protein powder. And then I just blended it all on up until it was smooth and creamy. And oh my goodness, this was just like the perfect texture. You know when you just make a smoothie bowl and it's like literally perfect and you're like, I don't know how I can recreate this, but you're just in awe with yourself? Yeah, that was my vibe. That was my vibe when I was making this. Topped it with some coconut chips, some flax seeds, some hemp seed, and enjoyed. Bears waiting in the driveway. So I actually worked on this day and one of the girls that I work with did a Starbucks run before she came into work. So shout out to Jill. She may watch this video. So shout out to you, Jill. You're the best girl. Anyways, I made a big salad to bring to work with me, but I actually left work kind of earlier than I thought. So I just ate the salad at home. From there, I was vibing another smoothie bowl because in the morning that was just so damn bomb, I had to have another one. So I added a bunch of frozen bananas, some coconut kefir and some chocolate protein powder. Oh, it was like, it was great again. I made a smaller one than I did this morning, but nonetheless delicious. From there, we were feeling a little peanut butter vibe. So I just mixed some powdered PB with some water to make a nice little sauce to drizzle on top. And this smoothie bowl was so damn dreamy. So this morning I started my day off with a coffee and a bunch of fruit because I'm just a little fruit lover. I'm feeling fruity, you know? Got some mango, some kiwi, some blackberries with some coconut yogurt, some hemp seed and some flax seed. I then thought maybe I should have a little more substance and then just added a little bit of this cashew cream cheese to some toast along with some chives and some seed mix. And that was my random but delicious breakfast. That's all I need. So I worked again today and just brought a salad and some seed mix and I actually ate that entire thing of seed mix. Not going to lie, I snacked on it like all day and I finished it. When I got home, I was feeling another smoothie bowl. I'm like vibing these smoothie bowl, these smoothie bowls this week. 
and I literally can't help it. It's like the first hot week of July. And I know that sounds backwards, but July has just been cold here in Southern Ontario. Anyways, in here we got banana, some mango, some frozen berry mix, some vanilla protein powder, blended it all up with some coconut kefir, topped it with some sunflower seeds, some pumpkin seeds, and some walnuts, random mix of stuff, but I was just feeling my nuts and seeds today. Get your fats in, okay guys? Get your healthy fats in. For dinner, I was feeling very random. So I decided to cut up half of a block of tofu and marinated it in some tamari, sriracha, garlic powder, onion powder, and some smoked paprika. And then just chopped up a whole bunch of vegetables. We got some carrots, some celery. We did some cucumber and red peppers as well. After we chopped up all of our vegetables, we threw our tofu into our frying pan and sauteed it until it was nice and crispy and golden brown on all sides. And then we just laid out our spread of random stuff. We had some leftover hummus, some leftover over vegan cream cheese, some kimchi, some crackers, and our tofu, and we just munched. So we started out our day with a black coffee and FYI, I just don't have any milk in the house at this point and that's why I'm drinking black coffee. I usually like my coffee, my coffee, my coffee milky. After that, we were vibing some oats because I haven't had oats in like a hot minute, like a real hot minute. So I mixed some chocolate protein powder in there along with some cinnamon, turmeric, black pepper, and some coconut kefir as well. We chopped up a banana, threw that on top, threw some coconut yogurt on top, threw some peanut butter on top because why the hell not? But that peanut butter was kind of dry. It was like the end of the jar, you know? Topped it with my hemp seeds because I'm obsessed and freaking enjoyed this delicious protein oat breakfast that I have not had in so long. For lunch, we were vibing some sweet potato fries. So we chopped up two pretty decent sized sweet potatoes, added some olive oil to them along with some chili powder and oh, chili powder on sweet potato fries just hits different because sweet potato fries have that sweetness to it and the chili powder gives it that little bit of spice and a little bit of smokiness, mm, so good. Anyways, from there, we chopped up some kale and then it squeezed some lemon and put some salt on top as well and then just massage that into our kale because massaging your kale helps it break down a little bit easier, helps you digest it a little bit easier. And then we just chopped up a whole bunch of veg to throw on top of our salad along with some spinach and some arugula. We got some cucumber, red onion, red pepper, spread that all on top. And as we were waiting for our sweet potato fries to cook, I decided to have a couple bites of this pineapple. Very very random, but good. I then topped my salad with my homemade Greek dressing, and this dressing is also in that video of the salad dressing, so it's linked down below. Do not worry. Topped it off with some sauerkraut and some hemp seeds. And then for my sweet potatoes, I needed some chipotle mayo, you know? So I added my chipotle paste to some vegan mayo and dipped my sweet potato fries in that, and it was so damn good. Again, I'm so sorry I say that so much. It's just, it's just so damn good, you know? It's just a vibe, it's just a vibe. For dinner, we were feeling some zoodles. I don't know if you guys like zoodles, but every once in a while, I just get a weird craving for zoodles. I'm like, oh, I haven't had them for a while. So I have this really awful zoodle maker thingy-mabob. That's what I call it. That's a real technical term, thingy-mabob. So I just use that to make my zoodles and then the rest of the ends of the zucchini that I couldn't really make into zoodles, I just chopped up along with some onion and some mushrooms as well. Started frying those in the frying pan while I made this cashew sauce. So I soaked those cashews for about 45 minutes in hot water, added some roasted garlic, some balsamic vinegar, a little bit of cayenne pepper, some Dijon mustard, some salt and nutritional yeast as well, and then just blended that up until it was smooth. And then in with my veggies, I added some fresh rosemary and some fresh basil, along with my zoodles and my sauce. And then I just mixed that all on up until the zoodles started to cook a little bit. It didn't take too long, only like 
a few minutes, I'd say maybe four minutes until they were at the right consistency and texture that I wanted. I then plated it all on up, added a touch of chili flakes on top along with some pea sprouts because gotta do it for the aesthetics, gotta do it for the YouTube, and this was such a good dinner. Class, we were life Look at these oodles, look at this stretch. <gasps> oh, perfect, literally perfect. So I went out and I got some milk. Are you proud of me? I'm proud of me. So because of that, we were feeling a hot chocolate. I love hot chocolate because I just love chocolate. So we added this package of Four Sigmatic Think Elixir along with some cocoa powder, some maple syrup, and our milk. We then mixed that all on up in our cup and then frothed the rest of our milk. And I did a damn good job, I gotta say. And if you haven't noticed, I didn't spill anything. Didn't spill anything. Proud of me, proud of me. From brekkie, we were vibing another smoothie bowl, so that is what we went for. We did some banana, some mango, some frozen berry mix, along with some vanilla protein powder, put that into our bowl, and spreaded it all on, spreaded it? Sure, spreaded it all on out and topped it with some hemp seeds. And then we also just had a big bowl of fruit beside it as well. Some grapes, some blueberries, and some kiwi. I honestly just love starting my day with fruit. It's just so light and delicious and nourishing. Mm. I then was vibing a milky coffee. I worked later in the day today, so I was vibing a coffee and I haven't had a milky coffee in a minute. So that is what we went for. And then we munched on the rest of these sweet potato fries from the other day and then decided to chop up a bunch of vegetables to bring with me to work to get them to saute for me. And then I'm just gonna buy some gluten-free noodles at work and throw the rest of our sauce that we had the zoodles with, but I was vibing bringing a salad with me as well today. So I just packed in a bunch of pea sprouts, a bunch of cucumber, a bunch of spinach, and a bunch of fresh parsley. Later in the night, I had that salad along with my Greek dressing, mixed that all on up and enjoyed, and then got them to make me my dinner with my chopped up vegetables, the rest of that sauce, like I said, and their gluten-free noodles. So this morning I was dreaming about that hot chocolate that I had yesterday, so I had to make another one. This one was not as clean, it was not as clean, but the froth in it was absolutely delicious. I just made a mess still. And we're still vibing chocolate. Gotta say, I'm on my period at this point in time, so I'm, I'm feeling my chocolate, you know? Anyways, so we're making these muffins which low-key aren't really muffins, they're kind of like brownie muffins, but I'm not mad about it. I'll write this entire recipe down in the description box below for you guys, just because I'm moving pretty fast here. But we got some whole wheat flour, some cocoa powder, some coconut sugar, and some milk in there as well. Mixed it all on up and then added our mini chocolate chips, obviously. And I was feeling some cranberries, some dried cranberries. So we threw those in there too, because that mixture to me, like dried cranberries and chocolate, mm, so good. I then just line them into a greased muffin tin and bake them in the oven for about 15 minutes at 355 degrees. Fill my brain with some so while those were cooking, I decided to deal with the mess of bananas that I showed you guys in the last What I Eat in a Week video. You know that big pile of bananas? Yeah. That one. I decided to try and break it up. So I grabbed a cutting board, I grabbed a knife, and I just started chipping away. So I added a bunch of that to my blender along with some chocolate protein powder and some water and a little scoop of peanut butter as well. And then I just blended that all on up and enjoyed that with my muffins. Chocolate on chocolate? Can I complain? Absolutely not. I know you're tired of waiting, but my friend- Okay, for the last day, this has legitimately been my tripod. A, a yoga block and a salt rock. If those two things aren't the hippiest thing to make a makeshift tripod on, I don't know what is. Because this little piece on my tripod broke because I freaking had my tripod up there and then it fell. All the fun things. 
So now we are good to go. Can't take breaks no more. I've needed company from you lately. Kind of tastes like a muffin slash brownie mix. I'm for it. I'm for it. Mmm. Oh wow, that's great. For dinner, we were feeling some cauliflower steaks and I haven't had them in such a hot minute that, oh my goodness, I was so excited for it. So I just seasoned these with some soy sauce, lemon, garlic powder, onion powder, some smoked paprika, and then I just kind of wiggled them around to get them all covered and let them sit for about 25 to 30 minutes or so before we actually cook them. Oh, and I almost forgot to mention, I added some fresh basil on top of that as well. And I don't know, like fresh basil, fresh herbs just hit different on these types of things and mm, so damn good. I then chopped up a whole bunch of potatoes and these are boiled actually. So I just threw them into this bowl after they were boiled, added some garlic powder, chili powder, basil, and some parsley as well. And then just gave them all a good toss. From here, we went outside to this new toy that my friend bought. It's called a griddle. Could be saying that wrong, but it's called a griddle, I think. And we piled on our cauliflower steaks and our potatoes as well. And this was such a blast to cook on. Like I'm loving this at the moment because I eat so many vegetables and they can just cook all at the same time. I don't have to like have a pan on, have the oven on and have all of these things, you know? but I'm really happy. This is great. Love this. People are gonna comment how we're not using the right utensils. They're like, why do we just have spatulas like all of you? He just got this. We don't have the right utensils. That's what we do. Tell them. Something like that. Something like that. I'm having a blast. Anything else? This is so great. Wow, I'm just, like high five to this purchase. What a good purchase. I'm scared. So after everything was golden brown and fried up and looked delicious, we brought it all back inside and plated up our plates. I also made a little salad to go with today's dinner and it was just a little bit of kale, cucumber, red cabbage, carrot, red onion, and a little bit of lettuce as well because we had to use it up. And then I just topped it all with a creamy garlic dressing that I also made and it'll be down in the description box below for you guys. Mmm, this looks fire. Thank you so much for watching today's video. I truly appreciate it. If you could just take a second and hit the like button and the subscribe button if you haven't already, it really does help my channel grow and help me continue making these fun and exciting videos that I just love to make so much. I wanna keep this intro short, but I do wanna to touch on something. So I've been asked, as an intuitive eater, why I don't eat more sweets and treats and all of these things. Intuitive eating at its core is mindfully taking note of how your body feels every single day and fueling it accordingly. For me, that is eating high volumes of fruits and vegetables, drinking lots of water, but still honoring those cravings, still having my morning drink every morning, lots of chocolate, lots of nuts and seeds and dried fruit and all of these things because that is what I crave. That is what my body is asking for. When you are craving high volumes of sugar or salt, that could be a sign that something is off in your body, actually. That could be a sign that you're lacking certain nutrients, certain amino acids, certain fatty acids, and things like that. And I highly encourage you to do your research, gain some knowledge about how the body actually functions. When you learn about how the body functions, it doesn't have to be an intense knowledge. I didn't go to school for this, but having a little bit of knowledge of how the body works so that way you can fuel yourself accordingly with that knowledge and listen to your body as well and what it needs. Anyways, 
As I always say, food is for enjoyment, but it's also for nourishment as well. Honor your cravings, but ask yourself why you're craving them as well, okay? I want to encourage you to drink lots of water, respect yourself, eat your greens, and maybe have a little dance party every once in a while. I hope everyone has a beautiful rest of your day, and I will see you again soon for lots more content coming your way.